When we talk to musicians about brand, um, according to the genre, they have very different understanding of what brand means to them. And so um, for, for a, um, a number of sectors, merchandise and branding is just a small piece of their revenue. But in some cases, it's, it's growing in importance and also in value to them. Um, I think artists need to be strategic above all about what they do because there's, yes, there's opportunities out there. Maybe get some underwriting for a tour, or maybe there's, someone's paying for your bus, or you're getting free product for in exchange for you wearing their sneakers. But um, I think um, it has to be weighed against artistic integrity and what your fans will perceive you as if you start getting involved in certain things. So I think artists and their management and if there are labels involved um, just need to think strategically about what it means in their total, um, the, the sort of what people perceive them as doing. Um, but I do think there's a lot more opportunities out there and I think some of the interesting sort of lifestyle brands and products out there that are are moving towards getting involved with music, um, they're finding ways to, to, that make sense. Well, I think that the combination of those different stakeholders, from rights holders to musicians themselves, technology companies, brands, I mean, it just makes sense. You see the synergies and the overlap much more, especially in the past two years. The fact that everything is diver you know, sort of converging, that um, there's more and more places where technology and brands intersect and merge and actually are sort of all together in most people's environments and experiences. And music has always been a part of people's experience, so they're all kind of converging.